now. Sharing the screen. Going to Microsoft Word. Going to the exercise. So I just mentioned that uh, it should be landscape. So from layout, orientation, landscape. Okay. And then most of this exercise, I'm going to ask you the margins I'm keeping to narrow. Okay. And then that's it. That's the start. Okay. We can start with this, which is on the header. So all you have to do is go to insert and insert a header. Okay, uh, there are some custom built or built in, but I will just go to edit header. Okay, so this is it. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so what do we have here? It's a ABC car set, so you have this. So at the middle, go to home and then center alignment. Um, What's the name of uh, what do we have here? Car sales. Okay, and then building one. address of geotech when it's in a cyber so telephone number three four 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 two three four 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 not sure about the telephone number so there is a bar bar is enter on top of the enter key. Three, four, four. And then if info at ABC cars that Old and then a little bit bigger. Okay, the next part is insert a clip art, isn't it? Yeah, insert a clip art from office.com and this one. Okay, so there are ways to do that. You can go to office.com and insert a clip art, but we can also go for insert and online pictures. And while waiting, yeah, this is online pictures and then clip art. I can type clip art and then car. Press enter. See about this. You can see the filter, all sizes, small. All types, I will go for clip art only and then I'll go for small only. Okay, why do I go for small? Because it's going to be easier for me to uh, insert this in a word because it will be smaller in size. So you can see you have to download the file. Okay, and then after the words, change the layout. I'll try uh, to use tight. Okay, so I can move it freely or uh, where will I put it? How will I? No, no, yeah, B. 
behind the text. So it will not affect the text. I put it behind the text. Okay, so that's it for our header. And then after that, uh, just go to the body. There are ways to go to the body. Uh, you can go for the... You can double click here or on the header. No, no. Yeah, you can double click on the body and now you're finished with the header. Okay, so you can start from here. So that's not affecting your header because you are now in the body. Now, this is, yes, correctly done. And then just zoom out again for us to have a better look. Okay, now I think I want to do first the border so I can see that clearly. Okay, design and then you have here page borders and then I'll use box and the whole document. Okay, so I said there are options here so you can apply it to the whole document and then that's it. Okay, so the first is again this one font size 16 point no matter what font case. Okay, what case? It just said font size. And then insert a clip art from office.com. Set a wrap text to square for this. Okay, so we're going to go back here. So let's just type first. Don't miss this opportunity to avail of the following special offers from your number one second hand car dealership in the Sultanate of Oman. So I will type that. but should be 16, right? So let's, yeah. Opportunity. Sorry, I have to shift the screen very fast. Shape in the Sultanate of Oman. Okay, so this is done. Now let me just give another line. Sorry. Okay, and then let's insert again another. Uh, online picture, same as what we did earlier. So clip our cars. And then again, I'm gonna filter small. I'm gonna filter clip art. Okay, so is it small now? Small and clip art. Yeah, so let's just see what do we have here. There's nothing, so why do I have better earlier let's say all types yeah i think this one is better creative cars commons only okay help me find something Sorry. If you write you cars write without, it's work. It's so it's okay. It will work. Okay, so don't worry about that. It's up to you. How do we do? How will you do that? Uh, important thing are these options or layout options. So the instruction says or said that it should be wrap text to square. So from here, uh, let's choose square, and that's it. That's how you're going to do this. 
So simple and you can follow now the next steps. Okay, but the next steps I'm going to give you some uh, how it should really be because some of you will just write no, no down payment and then you will space, 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 space. Okay, and then you will type this. Okay, and then once you go here again, after the fees, you will space, 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 space. That's why you have this set a left tab stop to three inches and set indentation to hanging by three inches. We will uh, later go there. But from here after the space or from here until here, it's three inches. And then also the hanging indentation, that means the next line, okay? The next line will be a hanging indentation, which also have three inches. That's the meaning of this. So they are aligned, as you can see, okay? And then you don't have to like use space, 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 space. This is actually what's common with some of the students. So, but if you want to do it like this, it will be no, oh, what's the font size? Did it say anything? Uh, it didn't say anything, but I think this is smaller than this. So I will make this uh, 12, maybe. Okay, no. Let's try 40. No down payment. Okay, so this is bold. And then after that, you will space, 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 space. Okay, for those who are first using your Microsoft Word, it is new, your uh, computer is new, your laptop is new. You have to show the ruler first, this one and this one. So where do you go to show the ruler? Here, file, options. Okay, you have it on general no it's on the display how about advance yeah it's in advance and then here show where's that show ruler where was that ah sorry uh what am i saying this is for uh the measurement in units. So we are talking about inches here. So if you want to change this centimeters or if you borrowed uh, a laptop and it's Microsoft Word and then the ruler is in, in in centimeters and you want it to in in inches, this is where you want you will go. File options advanced and then change this. Okay, so to view the ruler is actually here. Okay, on the view, view tab and check the ruler. Okay. So sorry about that. Anyway, so what we want to do is that automatically when we type the first uh, sentence here, because we want you to drive your dream car, we want to go on the three inches because that's what it says. So set a left tab step to three inches. Okay, so if you're reading the file that I sent you, this is what it is saying. Okay, so how do you set a tab stop at three inches? There are two ways. Okay, the fastest way is that you know that this is L. Okay, it means left tab. I will remove my mouse. If I go back here, it will show you left tab. Okay, again, I will remove my mouse. If I click this once, it will change to center tab you can see it right if i click it again it will move and it will be a right tab and it will change to decimal tab and then it will change to bar tab and it will change to first line indent and it will change to hanging indent and it will change to left tab indent indent so i'm going to yeah i need to tell you all about this okay so left tab it's already there so don't change this the fastest way so since the beginning i told you it's i can see l that means it's a left tab 
And according to your instruction, set a left tab stop to 3 inches. So all you have to do is just click on the 3, which is the 3 inches, and that's it. Okay? So as I said, you do not have to press space, 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 space. Okay? The easiest way to do is to click the tab key on your keyboard. On your keyboard, on the top of caps lock, there is the tab key. So press that. You can see my cursor went to the three inches as soon as possible. Okay? Now there's another, uh, another thing that you need to do. You need to set the indentation to hanging by three inches. Okay? Next thing is go to home on your paragraph dialog box launcher. Okay, you have the indentation here. Okay, on the special, you have two first line and hanging. Okay, the first line is the first line, the one that I will type on, and the hanging is the next and the rest. Okay, so when I click that, since my cursor is already at three inches, therefore, automatically he will show you hanging by three inches. Hanging by three inches. Okay, so if you want to adjust that, of course you can. Press OK. Okay, now what's this? You can see the, diff the other thing that was added. So left tab plus the hanging indent was already at the same area. So why is it necessary? Be uh, I will type because, so I will remove the bold first, because. He wants you to make your dream car without having to worry. So you can see that after typing here, I went here. Okay, that, that's, that, that means that I don't have to, you know, space, 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 space again, and so on and so forth. And you can see it's clean that they're aligned. Okay, so unlike when you go for space, sometimes this is not aligned. This is not good to see. Okay, so the next, you're going to do the same. All right, you're not going to do the same, sorry, because I press enter when I came here. And then came here. This was carried over. So the next one will be low matrix piece. Let me put this on bold first. And then tab. Okay, so once you are in the tab, you can see the same symbol is applied. If you cannot see those symbols, that means you are going to make this wrong. Okay? So. Press enter, same format, da 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 da, tab, okay, tab key, and remove the board, da 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 da, anyway. Um, yeah. You have to do it completely. Okay, now let's go to the last part of this, which is this. Cars currently in promotion. Okay, this is a word art, so it's going to be easy. Um, for now, I'm going to clear this. Okay, so from this point forward, where my cursor is, how to remove this, I'm just going to click on the L and then just move it somewhere to the left or move it away. Later, there's a, a better way to do this, but for the left indent also. Sorry. Why is it not? Yeah, okay. 
So this is the left indent. Okay, everything is here. So now let's go and insert a word art. Where's that? Mm, yeah, it's gonna be here. Yeah, a word art. So anything from here, just decide whatever you want. I'll put cars currently. a bit smaller. You can move this by cursor. And that's it. Okay. So uh, my uh, my line is here. So I press enter. I'll be here. Okay. The next is, sorry, the next is this one, okay? It's a little bit, uh, how do you say, organized, okay? So again, you do not make space, 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 space. Will not make it like this, layout like this. You can use a table if you want. Okay, but that will be on another exercise. But this one is with the use of the tabs. Set a left tab stop at one inch. So that means this one is a left tab stop at one inch. Set a center tab stop uh, one and two. So this is one inch, two inch. And then at the five inches here, it's a center tab stop. Okay. And then here, it's a decimal tab stop at 8 inches, so this one. So every time I press tab, I will just type make. I press tab, I will type year. I press tab, I'll go here and type model as, and then so on and so forth until I finish until here. Okay, and then uh, include another car. Okay, that's what, what, sure, what you will do later on. So, but I'm just going to show you this uh, small part or critical part. Uh, from here, I can see that I'm in zero. Okay, once I press tab, I should go to one inch and then type make. Okay, then after that, I should press tab and type year. And I'll go to two inches, sorry. And I'll type year. So how do I do that? So the, the first way, I told you earlier, there are two ways, huh? but this one is the easier. Left tab, according to the instruction, Left tab stop one inch and two inches. Left tab stop. Go here, click left tab. Go here, click left tab. Do not make mistakes. Okay, so that's the problem of some of the students. Anyway, if you mess up already with here, uh, I will show it to you later. Again, that's the second way on how to do this. So, Instruction set, set a center tab stop at 5 inches. So let's do this at 5 inches. Okay, when I click, I told you it will change. Now it is center tab. Now if you accidentally click so many, you can see that it becomes right tab. Okay, just click again until you see that symbol. Now it's center. Okay, now go back to go to 5 and click the number 5 on the ruler. And you will have a center tab stop. Okay. Now I have a right tab. Okay. Now I will go to the instructions, stop at eight inches. Okay. And then now I need a decimal tab stop. So I will click again this one and see I have a decimal tab stop. Okay. Once I have that, I will click on number eight and that's it. So I have left, left, right, decimal. Left, left, right, uh, center, sorry, and then decimal. Sorry, I was referring to center. So how do you do this right now? Click on the tab key on your keyboard, then make, okay? Tab key again, year, tab key again, Model, tab key again, price. Okay, so that's how easy it is.
press enter. Okay? Enter going to the next line. That means you're going to type this. Toyota 2009 Land Cruiser. Uh, so tab key. Toyota. Oh, sorry. Tab key 2009. Tab key Land Cruiser. Tab key 8500.00. Press enter. Again, tab key and so on and so forth. Okay, so that uh, explains how to do this. Put a car, it's up to you. Now let's go to the last footer. Write the text on the left and insert a page number on the right side. Okay, I will write the text on the left and insert a page number on the right. So this will be a footer. We have a header. Now I'm going to put a footer. How are we going to do that? As simple as this. Insert footer. Okay. I'm going, I'm not going to edit footer now because I can see from the layout that this is at the left side, this is at the right side. So when I go here to the footer, I have a like la layout blank three columns. I can use this and I can use this. So click. Okay, you can see that I have three. Uh, placeholder is called placeholder. I just need to remove the middle. Okay, this one is the special offer number one. Series of 2011. Nine years ago. Anyway, we do this and then. I think this is italized, italicized, sorry. So I, okay, and then this one. So what are we going to do now? This is a page number as what is told here, page number. Okay, so it page number on a footer, okay, should be here. Page number and then, uh, What will I do? No, you will not use this. Current position, yes. Ah, yes, you will use this. Current position. You will not use top of the page because you are now in the footer. You are in the footer, you will just use current position. Okay? If you are in the header also, you will just use current position when you insert page number. Okay? So click this one and then plain number. Click and then you have now a page number. Okay, so that ends my discussion on exercise two. Do you have any question? Raise your hand if you have any question. Yes, Amen. Uh, I would like I would to. Like to um, um, the, the uh, if we use, if we use the, but it's not to look exactly, look exactly the same the document you provided us. Exactly the same? No, not exactly the same, but exactly the instruction that I said on that paper on here. The instructions are here. Okay, so we can't use any tables, even if it looks the same. You cannot use a table here. It says left tab step. Correct? Yes. Okay. So instructions are very, very important. If I will not give an instruction and I just give you the layout or the exact thing that you're going to do, that's the thing that you have. You can do whatever you want as long as it is the same. Okay. But I gave instruction. So definitely you have to follow this. Okay. Okay, uh, now I was saying earlier that there's another way on how to do this. So I have to remove this and remove everything. So how do I remove from here? Just click and then remove. But there's another way, paragraph tab, tabs, okay? In the tabs, you can see whatever I set. I have 
one inch, two inch, five inch, eight inch, but you don't know yet what kind of tab, left, center, right, decimal bar. When you click this, you can see left tab. When you click this, it's left tab also. When you click this, it's a center tab. When you click this, it's a decimal tab. Okay, that's where you can see this. Now, as I said, you can remove everything by clearing everything here. Clear all. Done. Press OK. You don't have tab anymore. Okay, so I want to set it. Go to paragraph dialog box launcher, tabs, and I want to have a tab stop left at one inch. Okay. Uh, so left tab one, sorry. One inch, left tab stop set. Okay, so I have already a one here. Another uh, two, two left tab stop set. Oops, what happened? Two. Yes, set. Okay, so I have one inch, I have two inches. And then I need five center set. Okay, one, two, five. Then I need eight inches uh, decimal tab set. Okay, so one, two, five, eight is already there. Eight inches decimal, five inches center, two is left, one is left. Press OK, and I have all again. Okay, so I will do the same. Make tab here, tab uh, model, tab price. Okay, same tab uh, Toyota year 2009, model Land Cruiser, uh, price 8500 point. Okay, you can see the alignment of this is decimal. That means it is for numbers. Okay, so that's it. Any question? Any question? Okay, so I'll proceed to the next exercise. I haven't emailed you yet the exercise, so I'll just email now. Okay, so this is exercise number two. So let me just uh, create a new document. And again, I will have it as a layout, orientation, landscape, margins, narrow. That's where we start for this, okay? So it's the same idea. I have a landscape, I have a border outside. So let me just do those things because it's already, uh, 
discuss to you. So design, page borders, whole document, box, press OK. So that's it. So from here, I will need to insert a header. Insert a header, write text, insert the day to day, add clip art from office.com using the keyword internet. So try to do this, okay, as, uh, uh, I mean, as it is, okay, but I will not go into details of this since this is a report of, on internet, this is on header. I already taught you about that. So that's insert header. Now, since I can see from the, again, it's one, two, three. So there are positions already. Uh, we'll use the three columns, blank and then three columns. I will remove this place header. I uh, will uh, placeholder, sorry. And then report on the internet network. And network, sorry. Okay, type here. So as you can see, this is a date. Okay, so what I'll do here, just uh, insert. And then you can see here, insert date and time. Okay, so you can choose from the different formats. Okay, and then I think I chose this, 11 October 2020. Okay. So again, on the insert tab, but you have to click on the holder first, the placeholder here, before you go to insert and look for the text and then look for the uh, date. Okay, 11 October 2020. Now you can see from the dialog box, the check is update automatically. Okay, so if I press OK here, that means if I close this word, I save it, and then I open this tomorrow, the date tomorrow will be 12 October, so it will be 12 October. So that's why that one is update automatically, okay? So just uh, format this, go to home tab and so on. Okay, so that's it. I will go out of the header and the picture you take care of that. Okay, now here all the text is the internet. The internet is a global system for mobile, support electronic mail, and so on. And then there is number one. As you can see, what is that number one? Number one is what we call a uh, footer, a footnote, sorry, footnote, not a footer. It's one part of the referencing. So what we're going to discuss right now is referencing. Because what I will do to make this easier is just to copy this paragraph from the internet. But I need to make a footnote so that the, the reader will know where I got this. Okay, and from here you can see Wikipedia, this I got from here. So I'll click this and see where will it go. It's in Wikipedia and then I got that from there. Okay. So as simple as that. Okay, so let's proceed. So I'm going to type first this header, heading, sorry, heading of this paragraph, the internet. So let me go on the second line, the Okay, so here I didn't have to do anything but just apply heading one style. So where are the styles in your home tab? It's here. Okay, so just highlight, click on the styles, and then look for heading one. And that's your heading one. Okay, so don't look at what how it looks like here. Okay, look at the different instructions. Go to the next line. The next line, it should be emphasis style. But before you apply the emphasis style, let's copy first. And this is the time that I'm asking you to copy. The internet is a global system of interconnected networks and so on. So we will copy that here. Let me verify. 
Okay, so that's the, the sentence we are looking for, or the paragraph. So I'm going to copy this. Copy or control C. Go to my word and then right click and then paste options, keep text only. Do not copy the format. If you copy this, keep source, merge formatting, do not do that. Just keep text only, okay? And that's it. After that, double, uh, I mean highlight, sorry. To do this three port, I think one, two, three. You will highlight the paragraph. Okay, now apply styles emphasis according to the instruction. Look for it here, da, 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 here. Done. Okay, now you will type number one. No, you will not because one is a footnote. So you have to insert a footnote. And a footnote is not for... Uh, Okay, it's bothering us. And pin toolbar, pin toolbar. Okay, what's this? Can you see the tab? Okay, I think you can see the tab still. Okay, from the review, I uh, know references, sorry, references, because we are on a topic now of referencing. Okay. You can see on the footnote tab, insert footnote number one, ban. When you click that, the number one is here, and whatever you type on that below will be shown when you mouse over that number one. You can see, okay, I'm going to start typing. How does it look here? Yeah, Wikipedia one thing, okay. Seven October and it's a period here, so uh, okay. Manually typing that, I have to put a bracket. Yes. Okay. Let me now copy the uh, website. From here, click. Copy the website, go back to your Word file. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So to follow the next one, just type it, but play uh, first apply heading two on here and this one and heading to style and indent by 0.5 how do you indent i've shown you that in exercise number two okay now you copy also from which site you go here copy and paste and then insert a footnote through reference tab and then insert footnote so automatically it will write here number two and it will go you it will uh yeah, redirect you to this line number two, and you can type this and then copy uh, uh, this thing. Okay, the rest, I think it's self-explanatory. I don't have to discuss that. So I sent you already the email of exercise number three. Okay, so for now, I will leave you and you have one hour to finish exercise two and three. You will not submit it yet. Again, you just save it. You have this one hour for you to do those two exercises. So at the end of our meeting at 12, you should have finished exercise one, two, and three. Okay, on the next meeting, I'm going to ask you now to submit that, but where I will tell you by that meeting, okay? On that uh, day, which is, I think Wednesday is our next meeting, if I'm correct. Let me just double check. Uh, yes, you are, mister. Okay, so that's on Wednesday at 11, 8 o'clock. I need you to finish three exercises okay today okay with all the instructions 
Okay, this one is not in the footer anymore, huh? this page number. So I told you when you click on the insert and then page number, if you are in the footer, wherever you're, uh, that placeholder that I'm asking you here, okay, you just click current position. But if you are not in the uh, footer or anywhere, you're, for example, typing here and you want to input page number, that will be on the insert. Oh, where's the page number? Yeah, page number. And then now, bottom of page. And then play number three to the right. But bottom of page. Okay? So I think that's how you need to do this. Okay? So I'm ending this presentation. I'm going to stop uh sharing and stop recording so if you have any question before i leave we will end our